automatically you can explain why a lot of women are unable to find a good man in a relationship. Yep, and I have a feeling you're about to unintentionally be the point. But continue with your misogynistic bullshit. Yeah, a couple weeks ago I was on a date with this particular woman. She was a 7 out of 10 at best. She was 46, a little chubby, but she had a pretty face. Dude, your looks are a 2 at best, and your personality's a fucking 0. The reality is, is that if you women want to find a guy, it is necessary that you guys drop your standards because right now, a lot of you have ridiculous standards and you will be single and be drinking box wines and basically developing a collection of cats until you certainly develop a better mindset about the ideal kind of guy that would be a good match for you. I mean, first of all, don't threaten women with a good time. Do you really think that settling for your narcissistic gaslighting is something women aspire to? I mean, this video gives off the left lip is the clitoris vibes. So mathematically, why do women have a hard time finding good men in a relationship? Because most of them are like you. Entitled whiny narcissists that refuse to do any introspection or personal growth. Instead, they gaslight their partner and blame them for all of their shortcomings. Like, fuck, let's be honest, the bar for men is so low it may as well be buried. Boo frickety who, women have standards and they're no longer willing to take your ridiculous double standards. They're too loud, they're too quiet, they're too fat, they're too thin, they're not wearing enough makeup, they're wearing too much makeup. And you getting all upset because a woman that earns more wants a man that, at least to some degree, matches their same drive and passion. You cling desperately to the stupid, arbitrary, patriarchal, oh, men are providers role because that's all you have. And now, in this economy, you don't even have that. But a life alone with whining cats is infinitely better than a life with you.